Hello! Today we're gonna make together pasta dough. We're gonna ignore all the pasta that we have and pasta from buy from a supermarket and we're gonna try to make it at home. I know there is hundred type of pasta, hundred names and it's like a lot of flavor. But uh, try to make it at home from scratch. This is something that's so special and I think you will enjoy it if you haven't done it and you don't need to wonder okay I don't have a mi mixer or I don't have a pasta maker you can do it even with simple things and if you try it it's gonna be so amazing I heard it, uh, I heard one uh, request from uh, one friend of mine he said like he tried from uh, he tried the pasta at home and uh, but it didn't, never worked so I'm trying today I'm gonna share the recipe I'm gonna make it step by step for you and to follow and uh, yeah to be easy for everyone to make it at home if you want some tips about how to make pasta stay with me so as we see here we have two different kind of flour the all-purpose flour we have it here you can see it white flour and we have the semolina so a little bit of semolina also that gives it very nice taste and scotch on the pasta so and we have like four egg so basically this is like you can always see it's like a total of flowers like uh, 400 uh, gram and four eggs so each 100 gram of flour need one one egg but I'm gonna put as well some salt because that's something like I uh, I uh, got it this from one uh, one of my Italian friend He's, uh, he said like even the, the pasta need to be seasoned so that's the thing so now we put it all together here and we have little here just to make sure we have it we pass it from save it save it all just not to keep any glue even the flour is clean but the it's much better to and now with the back of your hand you go do this way open kind of hole in the middle and then you start with the egg and fork And then we start to whisk the uh, yellow and all together. Like you make an omelet, and then slowly, slowly, you add some flour from around. Yeah, to mix it all with the flour. gonna get messy so make sure you take it in a slow way and then use the uh, spatula or the if you have it like metal or plastic cutter then so now I don't want the fork anymore Start with your hand and plastic just to put it all together from check it from all around and then start to here where you're gonna start to use your muscles it was getting hard and hard and here where you're gonna say oh my god it's hard now so as I'm preparing you So after you feel sweaty and you feel, oh my God, need so much muscles here, so, so 
so just make sure also the thing is with the dough you need should not let it get warm so hot but what you do you after you, you mix it all together and you feel like okay it's, it's mixed well so you cover it and you put it in the fridge for 30 minutes then take it out again and then you will see if it's like stressed then you can uh, roll it for like another five to ten minutes and then will be this will be ready and uh, and if you have the mixer of course you can use it between uh, seven to ten or seven to twelve minutes actually then you make it rest then you make it just three to four minutes again and that's why it's so yeah so after we uh, keep the pasta dough for in the fridge for uh, half an hour or one hour or even we can use it next day that's we take it out and you always try to cut it i always cut it like three pieces like and then i will start with one and then have some flour plastic flour just to roll it and then we will start flip it on the side then i will decide if i want it like spaghetti or tagelle or uh, fettuccine so then i need to take it longer or if i need it like to get it square and then uh, make it like tight so i will decide what uh, what shape i want but the important things that you need to be gentle and like always try to make it all in the same thin so we need to make it so thin layer so the goal to make it so thin without break it so yeah that's what we work on of course people who have uh, a pasta maker to uh, uh, roll it and make it thin that's much better but doesn't mean that you cannot do your own pasta if you don't have and now I will for example if I want to cut it like thin then I can just make it like this and then roll it to cut it thin or I will do like fold it and one more time and then one more time for the like this Take it knife and then start to slice it thin like I can decide what size I want See? and then here you go you have some lovely fresh pasta and put it inside then I can make more how we make one type of pasta and the rest you can you can choose 
that's up to you totally how you want to uh, do it and of course you will decide if you have the machine or if you have the you want to do it by home at home that's this this is the faster door and uh, you can try yourself so i show you exactly how the pasta that pasta dough you can do it and you can cut it the shape that you want you can see it how it's like it's look really fantastic you can divide it to portion small portion as you wish and of course you can uh, uh, leave it outside for a bit for it to dry if you want to cook it or, or if you want to put it in the fridge it's kind of stay as well in the fridge just make sure you cover it by plastic and that's that's how is it so i'm going to provide the recipe as well to uh, for people who didn't catch the recipe yet so i will I'll put the recipe and i hope you enjoy watching me what's the pasta i hope you follow the the way how step by step how we make it together and for people who like uh, to do it themselves please do it and let me know put in the comment how how success it was and i'm happy to hear that if you like this video like it and uh, otherwise share it with your friend and family and if you don't subscribe don't forget to subscribe for more recipe and more cooking channel thank you so much